I'm going to have some fun tonight. The timing is great. Windows 11 came out yesterday, and so did VMware vSphere 7.0 Update 3. Now, I'll get started by just saying uh, this article. We're going to walk right through and record on video and see how it goes. But first, quick look at the PC Health Checker to say, yeah, my physical system that I'm recording this video on, uh, the processor is not compatible. So it's not just a matter of TPM. But this video is going to focus on how do you do Windows 11 um, in a VM, but the GA version, right? So the generally available version. Now I'm going to point something out here. If I do a new virtual machine on my brand new environment here, my newly upgraded environment, I noticed this earlier when talking to people in the VM world lounge. And we went through this and said, let's create a new VM. And I noticed that Windows 11 didn't make the cut. Too bad. But anyhow, what you pick is Windows Server 2022, and that'll get you get you going. All right, let's go back to following the article. So the article is right here, and it talks about how to set it up. Hardware specs, begin the VM. So download the ISO. So I already did that earlier, but I'll show you what it looks like. Download the ISO, you select Windows 11, click on download. It makes me pick a language. Click on confirm. And what we're going to see here is a file I already have. Windows 11 English ISO. All right, so that's already done. Next, create a VM with the following specifications. So let's do, let's resize this window, give myself a little bit more room here. And we'll just walk right through. So I'm going to right click on my Windows 11 folder and say new virtual machine. I'll probably blow this away anyway. Doesn't matter too much what I call it. Let's move along, put on my NVMe storage. I want some speed here. You'll notice there's no 7.0 update three or later. Windows Server 2019, great. Now here he says um, Windows 10, so let's use that. Enable Windows Virtualization Based Security, so we're gonna turn that on. Two CPUs, cool. Memory four, hard disk 64, fine. But I'm gonna do thin. So it's an SSD. Okay, I could go obviously larger than that. That doesn't really matter. Uh, the DVD, it's going to be a data store ISO file. And guess what? I have not uploaded it yet. So a little trick, I'm just going to launch my VCSA shortcut that launches Chrome and kind of a, a windowless tab. And by the way, you'll notice it looks like my backups are failing. So that's one warning and another skyline. So I'm going to have to look at that a different day. Right now, I just want to get into data store browser. So we're gonna get that ISO uploaded here. Interesting, I don't have an ISO folder on this particular one, so I'm just gonna call it ISOs. Let's go into the ISOs folder. All right, select ISOs over here. Upload files. And now the file's getting pushed up there. Okay, so while that's happening, the data store upload's happening, I can go back here and just pick right up as if the file's done. And it'll work just fine. I just have to make sure I don't boot it until the file upload is complete. Okay, make sure we turn it on so it's mounted. All right, what else? 64 DVD, yep. Boot the VM with the ISO connected, installation begin. Correct the same, yeah, select the correct language. All right. Okay, it's complete. Finish up the wizard. Ah, uh, he didn't talk about networking, but for now, let me just follow the directions perfectly and see what happens.
Okay. Notice it says push any key to boot it from CD. So that's what I did. I clicked with my mouse to get focus. Hit spacebar, and now we wait for the boot. English. Next. Back arrow. Install now. Message will appear that we can't run Windows 11. It gives you a URL to check out. At this point, I've hit Shift F10. All right, don't have a product key. Windows 11 Pro. Can't run. There it is. So, hitting Shift and the F10 key. Brought up a command line. So I can run reg at it. <laughs> this is pretty wild. All right, navigate to OH key local machine. All right, so now just following along with the directions. Okay, and say yes, it should start again. And this time it should work. Okay, this is the drum roll moment. Will I have success or not? Ooh, for workstations, that's the one where you can crank up the RAM even higher. Huh, all right, I'll try that a different day as well. Well, that was pretty simple. <laughs> and you might be able to guess where I'm going with this. I want to try this on my system, right? Do you remember this where I fail? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> this registry key is about ignoring TPM. It's not about ignoring the CPU. So unlikely this trick will work. But have you researched this yet? Perhaps someone also has a tweak. All right, wasn't exactly hard to find. Bypass CPU check on Windows 11. Let's check out the register. There it is. So uh, it's that easy. Once we set it, uh, they're talking about running the media creation tool. Yeah, yeah, but how about I do it the way I just did it in this VM? That's a whole lot better. I don't need to crank out a whole new ISO. I can just do the same process we just did. Ta-da, it worked. We're done. Well, gotta install VMware tools in there, but then upgrade the hardware version of the VM. So in that order. Why? Because you need drivers to be able to see the new hardware that you add. So a lot safer to do the order that I just showed you. Let's see if auto run, there you go. If I did nothing, it would just pop up like this in the upper right. Click on that. And the tools installer is launching, so that's going well. Again, this is probably kind of just my early rehearsal here. All right, a little weird. There we go. 
There's a little video resolution thing. I'm going to say no and then do a shutdown. Why? Well, guess I want to update the version. Hardware version. So we've got to wait for the VM to be powered off. Right click, compatibility, and it seems to be a bug. It's grayed out, even though it's powered off. I noticed this with other VMs as well. Let's try that again. Let's make it so you can actually see what I'm doing. There you go. Right click, compatibility. Huh. <laughs> okay. Guess we won't be doing that. Oh, well. Power down there, we can power down here. Doesn't matter. It should come right back up. Auto login, by the way, NetPLBiz, that stuff's changed. You gotta do a registry key to get Windows to cooperate as a VM where it doesn't prompt you for password at reboot. Again, I'll try to do all another video about that. Okay, because the video is in there and tool, VMware Tools is in there. It now acts like it should when you resize it. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. You can see a series of vSphere 7 articles by clicking there. Uh, thank you again for visiting Tinkertry.com. Bye for now.